Hi, I'm Rock and I'm a tour guide and this is Venice, Italy. In this video we will taste typical Venetian street food, visit the local food market and check out the most famous shopping area in Venice. Please smash the like button to help this video before we start wandering streets of Venice. I just made a stop in one of the typical bars. The reason for my stop is that it's right between breakfast and lunch. And in Italy they have expression for this time of day called tramezzo. From this expression this popular sandwich was born and it's called tramezzino. It's triangular sandwich from two pieces of soft white bread with crust removed. There are various fillings available, but most popular are mayonnaise, tuna, prosciutto and cheese. There are numerous varieties of tramezzini and you can find them in cafes, bars or pre-packed in supermarkets all over Italy. But Venetian tramezzini are famous for being stuffed fuller. I took the one with the crabs and it costed me just 2 euros. Since Venice is city on water and Adriatic Sea is a big part of everyday life around here, it makes sense that seafood also plays an important role. You've already seen an example with my crab tramezzino sandwich. But this place is all about street seafood. Here you can find fried fish and other seafood served in paper cones. Paper cones start at 6 euro a pop and can be filled with either squid or prawns or mix of calamari, prawns and letterini, a tiny white fish that is cooked and eaten whole. When visiting Venice, don't forget about its delicious seafood. Of course, there is one street food that can be overlooked in Italy and that is pizza. Maybe it will come as a surprise, but all around Italy proper pizzerias where you sit down and enjoy the whole pizza open up only for dinner. But here in Venice you'll find places selling slices of pizza on every corner and these places are open all day. Here you will select one of many delicious looking pizzas and show how big slice you want. Then they will heat up your selected slice and wait as these pizzas are sold by weight. It's good to know that prices for pizza slices are listed per 100 grams and not per slice. So expect to pay double the listed price as usual a slice weighs about 200 grams. Pesto, tomato, cheese, that's about it. It's wonderful. Rialto became an important district in 1097 when the main food market of Venice was moved here. For almost 1000 years this market provides daily supplies of fresh fish, vegetables, fruit and other food products. Because of this market the most famous bridge, Rialto Bridge was built there and it was the only bridge across the Grand Canal for almost 800 years.
This market is split in two areas. This covered part is dedicated to the sale of fish, while the open air part is for sales of fruits and vegetables. As the market is right next to the Grand Canal, the main transport waterway in the city, all the goods are delivered with barges at dawn. This food market is a wonderful display of food and daily life in Venice. It can be reached by Vaporetto line number one as there is a dedicated stop called Rialto Mercado. You can also find this place if you cross the famous Rialto bridge to Rialto district and walk for about 200 meters or 600 feet as close to the Grand Canal as possible. Famous shopping area of Venice starts already around famous Rialto bridge. Even the bridge itself has two rows of small shops that sells jewelry, Murano glass and other souvenirs. This famous shopping area is called La Mercerie and includes a series of narrow streets between Rialto Bridge and St. Mark's Square. In the past, this area was used to sell valuable goods from trade with East. Today, the area is packed with stores and stalls selling just about everything, including lines from the biggest names in Italian and international fashion. Thanks for walking the streets of Venice with me. If you want to learn more about Venice and its attractions, check out my Venice Top 10 video in the top corner. If you like this video, give it thumbs up. If you have any questions, ideas, suggestions or even your own experience about Venice, please share it in the comment section below. And please, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. This way, you'll be notified every time I post a new travel video. Thanks for watching and see you next time!